Restaurant Marketing Secrets, episode 145, the first episode of the new year. Happy New Year, 2023, kicking it off with a bang. I'm your host, Matt Plapp, and we are brought to you by America's Best Restaurants. America's Best Restaurants is on a path to help you, independent restaurant owners, find more frequent customers because infrequent customers don't pay the bills. And we're going to kick 2023 off with a topic that's near and dear to me. The title of this in my notes is Swag Out. Swag Out. What am I talking about? I'm talking about you living, eating, sleeping, drinking your brand. This past weekend, I was in Columbus, Ohio. My wife got me a Christmas present to go see Dave Chappelle live I guess you could say in concert, but his comedy show. And what I loved about it was on the stage, giant brand, giant square with his logo. On the screens, the two hours, because we made the mistake of getting there too early, the two hours beforehand, all of his branding. His team was branded. He was branded. Now, he wasn't branded as much as Matt Plapp is, but he was branded. And this is what I want you to think about As your restaurant enters 2023, when your team leaves there, are they rocking your gear when they're not working? Are they proud to wear it? Does it look good? Does it feel good? Are you embodying your brand when you're not inside the four walls? My car's license plate says MPTV. It has the MP fist bump on it. Our vans are wrapped. I wear orange Jordans every day. I wear Today I got an orange Hawaiian shirt on, a brand new one, because one of our employees came back from Hawaii. And I got this in Florida two weeks ago, and I wanted to surprise her with it. But it's a bright orange with parrots. It's my brand. I have an MP ring on my right finger, my right hand, my index finger. I want you to think about what you can do to elevate what you're doing in the community. And the easiest way to do that is to get the hell out there with your stuff. You know, I had a restaurant owner a couple weeks ago because we send all of our clients swag. And if you go to mattplap.com, you can fill out the form on the homepage and we'll send you swag if you're in the U.S. And I had a client that got some stuff recently and said, dude, those sweatpants are unbelievable. I would wear them every day if I could. And I said, great, give me your size again. He said, XL. I said, they're coming your way, brother. We sent him a couple more pair. If those sweatpants sucked, he wouldn't be telling me that. I had a client of mine send me a picture jokingly, but he was being serious. He's like, Matt, I go to bed with you every night. I wear the MP shirts you give me. They're so comfortable, so soft. I didn't skimp on my gear. I hear it all the time from customers. Our sweatshirts, our T-shirts. We have socks we send out. We have sweatpants. We have gym shorts. We have jackets. We have spring jackets, which are lighter. And then we also have the golf shirts. None of them are cheap. And people wear them all the time. Customers, employees, friends. Because it's good product. And my goal is to infiltrate restaurants all over the country. I want to have owners and employees rocking my gear as much as they're rocking their gear. Which is kind of opposite of this because you should be rocking your own gear. But hey, you know what? Give MP a little love. Get America's Best Restaurants a little love. But you need to be owning your brand. You need to be out in the community. When you're at Home Depot getting supplies, when you're at, you run down the GFS real quick, when you run across the street to Kroger to get something, when you go to get your oil change, that person changing your oil should see your vehicle and go, oh my gosh, this is a Joe's Burritos Corvette. That is so badass, dude. Like, are you, you work there? You own the place? Yeah, I own the place. Oh my gosh. Hey, by the way, here's a scan this QR code. I want to give you a free burrito. Have you ever been there? No, I haven't been there. And when you got the shirt on and the hat and the, sh- and the shorts and the pants and the shoes, whatever, but you need to swag the hell out and you need to always have gear on you. We're here at the office the other day, our HQ here in Florence, Kentucky. We have 9,000 square feet, two stories. We have a swag area. And in that swag area is all of our stuff and it's free of charge. Anybody that comes in, take whatever you want. Have fun. Because I want people to be you know, promoting my brand for me. Your restaurant could be the same way. I had a restaurant recently that 
told me he, he charged his employees for shirts. I said, so if I get hired, he goes, when you get hired, your first day you buy five shirts or something like that for like, he had some number. I think it was $7 a shirt or something like that. And I'm like, so I'm an employee. I get hired. I'm giving you $35 for the shirts I got to wear on my shift. Yeah, it's their uniform. I said, why? Well, if they quit within a week or two, I don't want to be out that money. I said, so you're telling me you would, you'd be upset if somebody got a job, got five shirts, quit a week later, and then walked their ass around your region, your neighborhood in your gear, advertising your business. And he literally was like, oh, shit, man, how have I missed that? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, bro. My dad was in here the other day in his MP sweatshirt, and he had like 1,900 food stains on it. And I said, Dad, what are you doing? He's like, well, I don't have another one. I need another one. I said, walk across the hallway. I can do that. I'm like, yes. He walked over there. He came back smiling with two, two MP sweatshirts, two new ones. I want you to think about what you can do to get your brand and your community more often on people's backs. How can you be creative? And I'm going to warn you, don't order garbage and don't go with black shirts unless you got pink or orange or something on them. You got to be different. Stand out, have a brand that stands out, have gear that stands out, but have gear that is comfortable. The difference between an uncomfortable shirt to a really comfortable shirt is about five bucks. And if you give out, let's say a thousand of them a year, you know, so you just spent $5,000 more, but let's say I think our shirts are like $7 a piece maybe, and we give out so 7000 versus maybe a $3 one, three. Yeah, so it's going to be two to $5,000 or 2000 to 7000 or 3000 to 8000 It's probably going to be the difference between good and bad shirts. And if you're doing 600000 700000 a year in sales, <clears throat> that's the basic stuff you should be doing. If you're doing a million, that's in there with everything else. You should be spending fifty to hundred grand a year on marketing. And if you can knock out marketing with some community branding, with some employees wearing the stuff, it's a much better place to be. That's all I got for this episode. Kicking off the new year, talking about something near and dear to me, branding and swag. If you want to find out more information on working with our company, you can always go to AmericasBestRestaurants.com, but you can also go to ABRU dot online slash deals there's currently five opportunities on there for you to work with our company work with me one-to-one have our company come visit you have your company come visit us there's a couple opportunities i'm adding a few more this week so make sure you hop online check that out and don't forget go to mattplapp.com and get some free swag that's all i got i'll see you next episode